of all, I want to say thank you so much to Accelerate TV for having me here today. It's been such an amazing experience and I had so much fun shooting today. Um, I felt like a different person because I haven't shot swimwear in a really long time and I got to wear red hair for the first time in my entire life. My go-to fashion designers, um, I would say for foreign designers, I love my British designers. I love Charlotte Zimbal. She's the one that made this gold trench coat. Um, I love it because it's customized and I like things that, you know, aren't everywhere and, ready, and readily available, you know, for everyone. Um, I also really love Atsuko Kudo because I'm a huge fan of latex leather. And for Nigerian designers, my go-to designers are Maki O, Lisa Folawi Yo, um, Larry da Silva Jai because they pay a lot of attention to detail. I'm also becoming a huge fan of swimwear designers like Be Fine and Andrea Yama. Nothing. Okay. Um, what does love mean to me? <sighs> Romantically or in general? Okay, so it's Valentine's season and Love is finally having that person that you can go out and buy all the amazing gifts for. I'm a girl, but I do buy, you know, my special someone gifts and um, I'm not afraid to look like I'm a hopeless romantic because I am. So this is the season where I don't look crazy doing it. If I was a guy, I would be the most amazing, most romantic man in the world. Um, I've actually had a perfect Valentine once where somebody told me he just wanted to pick up something from his office and I was so upset. I was like, it's Valentine's Day, you spent the whole day at your friend's party and I followed him, I, grudgingly I was upset, I followed him to his office only to see like flowers everywhere, lined up the stairs all the way to the top floor of his office building and then there was candlelight, there was a dinner set up, there was a professional chef, there was food. They kept handing me boxes, one gift after the other. And it was the most romantic thing that has probably ever happened to me before, especially because I wasn't expecting it and I love surprises. The last most interesting thing that I've learned that we hear and we take for granted is to keep your cards very close to your chest. Well, basically, you know, our parents and even wise friends tell us that, you know, you shouldn't always share things, not because you're being superstitious or you're being paranoid or whatever, but it's just a secret of the universe, I think, to keep things to yourself until they mature and produce fruit. Let me put it like that. Um, and a lot of people don't do that, and I think that's why a lot of plans fail. My favorite fashion accessory would be my sunglasses. I love wearing sunglasses because I have a collection and um, whether it's raining, whether it's sunny, I don't care. I always have sunglasses in my handbags. Well, I think my Instagram still needs a lot of work, but um, one tip is to post clear pictures. I noticed that when I post clear pictures, like I get more engagement, and it's even less annoying for me when I go on someone's page and I'm struggling to see the pictures. Um, and also there's this um, layout that everybody's doing. So that would be my second tip. You know, if your page looks very clean and it's not all over the place, I think that attracts people more to following you, to liking your photos, and maybe to even pay you to be an influencer. Uh, the third thing I would say is, um, Filters are your friend, but don't use too much filters. None of your business. <laughs> My PR said yes, I am is the answer. Johnny Rocket's burger, it's the single smoked salmon and it comes with barbecue sauce. And Tokyo Jim must not hear me saying this. But that's where I'm going now, <laughs> from this interview. <laughs> my very first designer piece um, was a gift from my elder brother. He got me the Louis Vuitton Damier Alma bag. Um, I think I was in my sophomore year 
So that was like 2008 or 9. And then the second was um, the red, <laughs> um, uh, what's it called? The red Ver Vernis Louis Vuitton bag as well. And then the first self-bought designer out um, item that I had was two Louboutin pair of shoes that I got after my first high paying job. I got black and I got nude. <sighs> my favorite song is a song by Adele called I Miss You. If anyone noticed, I actually played it eight times on set today and I think nobody paid attention to that but that is my absolute favorite song. I think I've listened to it about 700 times now on my iPod. It's deep, it's slow and it's fast at the same time. It makes you happy and sad at the same time. There's just a mix and a whirlwind of emotions running through me when I hear the song. I dance to it in my head. I'm imagining and I'm visualizing while I'm listening to the song. It's crazy. It's like a fashion song, it's a bedroom song, it's, I don't know, it's an everything song. So. The advice that I'd give to anybody that is trying to break into the fashion or media industry is that there's room for everybody. Um, I think there's, there's um, the market isn't yet saturated and there's still space at the table to bring in your own ideas, to carve your own niche. I mean, come on, you know, the competition is exciting and it's, it's only going to get better. It's only going to improve and grow our industries. So come on, see you at the top. Hi guys, my name is Idia Aysian. I am a television presenter and a model, and you've been watching Accelerate TV. Love you guys. Mwah.